Hello people, how are you doing? Very fantastic. Now we are going to teach you some idioms, some English idioms. Idioms are very important because they help you sound or speak English like a native speaker. That's why sometimes we teach you some idioms in English language. Idioms are some expressions that are very difficult to as many people as possible. Kubantu benshi bashoboka idioms zirabagora cyane. Nico twita icobera mahanga mu kinyarwanda. Then when you know idioms, you speak with some native speakers very wonderfully. Uganira mu byukuri when you know idioms you speak to some native speakers very wonderfully. Iyo uzi nshobera mahanga uvugana nabe nerurimi neza. Kuko rimwe na rimwe hari gihe ayishyiramo azi kuyizi, azi ko uzi yo nshobera mahanga yo rero utayizi biragucanga. That's why you should try your best to learn our lessons because sometimes we use to put some idioms into our lessons that we teach each and every day. Tukunda kushira mo izo idioms. Mubjukuri kujirango ziweza afasha our followers. Our followers. Aba You are our best followers. You are our best followers for sure, for certain. Muri aba dukuri chira. Weza chane dukunda. You are our friends and we, we are the friends of yours. Na atuke tukaba inshuti zan. Fantastic. Good. Then I would like to give you uh, the three announcements. Uh, the first announcement is to subscribe to our channel. The second announcement is to share our lessons to as many people as possible. The third announcement is to buy our books. And the fourth announcement is to come and learn English language very fantastically. Nokuza mukiga ichongereza chimiromo hafinaga. Fantastic. Good. Then we are going to learn the meaning of these important idioms. Important English idioms. Tujie kureba idioms zingenzi mbukuri ugomba kumenya mururimi gichonjeles. Are we together? <laughs> Turikumge? Nice. No kurebe. To bite off more than you can chew. That is the first idiom that we are, we are going to teach you. Iyini idiom yambere tujie kubigish. Inshoe ramanga yambere tujie kubigish. To bite off more than you can chew. When you are biting off more than you can chew, you are taking on a difficult work that is impossible for you to accomplish, okay? Or that is beyond your capabilities. When you are taking on a difficult work, okay, that is beyond your capabilities, you are biting off more than you can chew. Bishatuvuango, to bite more than you can chew, Nukwihambira hivi nutashobora. Kwira rira ngwe hivi nunabishobora kandi bitari mwushobozi bgao. Is to take on a difficult work. Nugufata umurimu komeye that is beyond your capabilities. Kandi urihejuru yu ushobozu fite. Your capacity. Ushobozi bgao eni avgoburi hejuru yivjo njivjo watechereshe gukora. Then that time you are biting off more than you can chew. To chew no bukanj. To bite no kujagute no kuruma. Dero mubjukuri. Kuruma ichi no udashobara bukanja. No kuira rira murimachi. No kuipasa mure mure murimachi. To bite, uh, to bite off more than you can chew. I will buy three cars in one day. Muna shora kubikubgi. Zagura. Imodo kesha tumumusu. Ukabumuzi. Kona usho wazafite. Ugetu mubiruti my dear. You will not. Shuti anje nuzavi shawara. Don't bite off more than you can chew. We kuira rira. We kuipasa mure mure. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Nice. Does it make sense? Good. Good. Then the second idiom is this one. To hit the books. To hit the books is to go to study. Yes, I'm going to hit the books. I'm going to study. That is an idiom. To hit the books. To go to study. Example, I will not be able to come for dinner tomorrow. I have to hit the books. I have to go to study. To hit the books. To hit the books. But to hit the sack, we are going to see the meaning of hitting the sack. There is a difference between hit the books and hit the sack. But you may know these 
idioms, please, if you want to speak English very better. Nice. Let's continue seeing other idioms. Tujia gukomeza kureba izindi shobera mahan. Stab someone in the back. Stab someone in the back. To stab means kujomba. Huh? Kujombu munu, mumugongo no neo. Huh? In the back. To stab someone in the back. What is the meaning? Is to betray your close friend. When you are stabbing someone in the back, you are betraying them. To stab someone in the back. No kugamba nira. To betray your close friend. Kugamba nira. Inshutia we magara. That is to, to stab someone in the back. Example. I trusted my friend. Nizera ginshuti yanji. But he stabbed me in the back when he saw my bag of money. Okay? I trusted my friend. But... He stabbed me in the back when he saw my bag of money. Nizera genshuti anje, ariko, yaranga ambaniye imaze kubona jikapu cha mafranga na rinfiti. To stab someone in the back is to betray someone. Good. Then to hit the sack. To hit the sack is to go to bed. Kuja kurja amani to hit the sack. To hit the sack. But to hit the books is to go to start to study kuja kuigani to hit the books but to hit the sack is to go uh, but to hit the sack is to go to bed example are you still are you still reading here you can say are you still reading reading your book urachari gusoma igitabo chawe are you still reading your book no oh yeah i am very tired ndarushe cyane i am going to hit the sack I'm very tired. I am going to hit the sack. I am going to bed. To bed. Good. Then uh, this to go to hit the, the sack is to go to bed. I am going to hit the sack. I am going to bed. Good. Have a bigger fish to fry. When you say I have a bigger fish to fry, when you have a, a bigger when you have a bigger fish to fry, you have too many things to do. Or you have a lot of work to do. Example, will you accompany me there? Will you accompany me there? I am sorry, I won't. I won't. I have a bigger fish to fry that day. I have a bigger fish to fry that day. Then to have a bigger fish to fry is to have a lot of work to do. I have a bigger fish to fry. Do you have a bigger fish to fry tomorrow? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. To fry no gukaranga, fish in if bigger, then I have a bigger fish to fry. Tomorrow I will, I will not teach my students because I have a bigger fish to fry, because I have a lot of work to do. Very fantastic. Now we are going to give you the saying of today. Tujerero kubaha invugo yumus. In English we say, some people are not your friends. They are friends of what you have. Some people are not your friends. They are friends of what you have. Once what you have disappears, they will vanish. I thank you so much. I am Teacher Jasper. We are together. Bye-bye.